Modern computers do millions of calculations a second, but how are these instructions actually carried out inside the computer's processor? I'm going to demonstrate binary addition inside a CPU using logic gates, inputs and outputs, but first the basics. You need to know about binary addition and how simple logic gates work. If you know about this, skip ahead to get onto the simulation of this circuit. In binary, a byte is a collection of 8 bits, each representing 2 to the power of something. A 1 represents this value is present, and a 0 means it is not. In this example, 10101110 represents 174 in the decimal system. We can also add two of these bytes together, if we know the rules for binary addition. Take 174 and 115. This first column has a 0 and 1, so the output will be 1. This next column has a 1 and a 1, so it outputs a 0 and carries the 1. Here there is a 1, 1 and a 0. Two ones gives an output of zero and a carry of one. If we continue, the final answer is nine bits. The extra bit is known as overflow. This answer is 289, which is the correct value for the sum. So our rules are zero and zero give zero. One and zero gives one. One and one gives zero with a carry of one. And three ones gives one with a carry of one. Logic gates are tiny devices made from transistors which only output 1 depending on certain inputs. For an AND gate, both inputs must be 1 for it to output a 1. An OR gate needs at least one input to be 1 for it to output a 1. A NOT gate will output the inverse of the input. An XOR gate will only return true if exactly one input is true. Here is the software I've created which allows for creating of circuits and small processors. To demonstrate how it works, I'll create an XOR gate, which is a, actually a combination of AND, NOT and OR gates. If the first input is true and the second is false, or the first input is false and the second is true, it will output true. The input values can be changed via the switches. With this, we can create much more complex circuits and systems similar to real CPUs. A half adder circuit allows a computer to add two binary bits together like before. It uses an XOR gate with an AND gate to output the correct sum, S, and carry, C, for the addition. The issue is this does not include a carry bit from the previous calculation. So full adders are used when a carry is present. This will include two bits as well as the carry bit to output a sum and another carry. You don't need to fully understand how these two circuits work. We can use half adders and adders to create an 8-bit binary calculator using the logic gate software. Using switches to represent the two binary numbers and 9 LEDs to output a result including overflow will create the calculator. The first bit only needs to have a half adder because there's no carry, but all the others must be full adders. complex after a few adders, yet it's just the same system repeated several times. Here is the finished circuit. If I set the values of the numbers to 154 and 29, it outputs 183, which is correct. 233 plus 69 gives 302, which requires the overflow LED to be used. It is quite interesting to see exactly how the circuit changes depending on the numbers that are input into the system.